Hello everybody and welcome to my indie game spotlight for Inverbus Virtus. Now this is a fantasy action puzzle game where your actual voice casts the spells for you. Now this hasn't been done in a long time and when it was implemented into older games like SOCOM 2 it was kind of a bad experience, at least for me. Um, it didn't understand my voice a lot and obviously with so many accents in the world and voice recognition it's just hard to do. I mean this game, it seems to have done it well. I have played through it. It does recognize my voice the most of the time. It's very, very cool, obviously. Look at the graphics. It's beautiful. Um, it's done in the Unreal Engine, so you know it's going to be a good game. Um, I've never had an Unreal Engine game that was bad, in my opinion. Some people can argue that, but I don't care. I love the Unreal Engine, and I always will. So... Yeah, this is an uh, RPG fantasy game, and basically, this is the demo. This is basically highlighting what the game is all about. Mind you, there isn't any combat in this game. It's focusing on the puzzle aspect right now. I'm really excited to see where they go with these, uh, this combat mechanic, how saying so many things can happen so quickly and fight correctly. Um, press E while looking at an inscription to examine it. So. This is the first puzzle room, and as you can see, that particle effect is beautiful. This whole game is beautiful. I was shocked when I saw such a small independent developer build a game like this. Now, it is on Indiegogo. Um, if you want to support it, they're asking for 65000 in funding to complete the game. And honestly, for a huge game like this, I'm, I don't know if it's that huge, but... I mean, it's a lot bigger than most of the indie games that I highlight, that's for sure. And 65,000 isn't anything crazy. I've seen, you know, certain games go for 300,000, 500,000, sometimes, you know, up to 800,000 I've seen. So, you know, 300,000, uh, 300, 65,000 isn't as much at all. And if you donate $18, you do get a copy of the game. And not only that, you get mentioned in the special thanks section of the game. So, I mean, a measly 18 bucks for a game like this I mean, that's not much at all. I, I was expecting, you know, maybe a $30 price tag closer to Amnesia. It does feel like Amnesia, so why not, right? And no, they're only asking 18 bucks. Hey, you know, definitely, if you got the money, support them while you can. Now, this, these things are your spell abilities. When you see these on the map, that means you're getting a new spell. I kind of missed that. I was talking, so... Basically, what this spell is, it's a light. So if you need light in dark places, you say, well, as you can, you can hear it if you want. Let there be light. Some uh, very bad impersonation of someone saying, let there be light. I hope it's not uh, recognizing based on that, but let's try it. Let there be light. Okay. Again, voice recognition, my friends. Let there be light. So... It honestly, it did. It worked almost flawlessly my first run through. I have played this game the whole game, so I, because I, as there is so many puzzles, I wanted to, you know, not be stumbling around while I'm highlighting it for you. This is actually my first game I've ever not done a blind playthrough, because I wanted to highlight the whole damn thing. So, um, we got two ways here. I don't remember which way. I think it was this way though. But again, I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. This is actually on medium ground. Oh, hey, I just found a clipping. That's great. Again, demo, but hey, they, they should probably fix that. So, dev devs, you can walk in the wall here, just so you know. But yeah, this game is beautiful. It's, uh, I, I was shocked. This is on medium settings, guys. This is not high. I, my, my computer can't handle high. I mean, I do have a decent PC, but it is starting to date. It's an old i5. It's only like 2.9 gigahertz, but I overclocked it to 3.5. And I recently updated my graphics card, so... I mean, you're going to need kind of a good PC for this, but nothing spectacular. Wow, I didn't even notice that before. I don't know how I jumped that without noticing it. Okay, so right mouse button to end the spell. Okay, so it's basically telling me, you know, it's time to end that spell. And, oh, look, look what we got. Oh, leg. Bit of leg, but hey, that's okay. Um, we got another spell. So beam of light provides a ray. Oh, my God, that goes way too quick. So the next spell is a beam of light. Uh, um, you can read this if you want, but... For the sake of my video, I am just going to use a Beam of Light. And hopefully I remember how to do this. Um, so, we're at another... Uh, absolutely, actually, let's look at this room for a minute. I mean, you got... I don't know if that's a glass floor or if that's just the reflection, but holy crap, is that ever cool. And, again, the textures on medium are absolutely surprising to me. Um, this is benchmarking my PC. It's not going at full full 60 frames, but hey, it's going to be good for video because it's going over 30. So, let there be light. Oh, wrong one. 
beam of light. Okay, so the whole point of this was to uh, get a, a light to the, do the door. Now, I debated on doing a blind playthrough of this, because I did want you to experience, you know, the whole act of finding it, but... You know, some people don't like blind playthroughs, and I, I want to see what you guys prefer, so let me know. Did, do you prefer this, or do you prefer me usually walking around and being foolish half the time? But, yeah, that, that's what I decided to do, and I hope you guys appreciate it. So, we got this absolutely huge corridor, and I really enjoy this green glow. Now, you don't really see games going for the green. It's usually like fire or lava or some sort of dark red. I, the green looks way more eerie to me. I love it. And I mean, look at the... Um, this is not even part of the, the... The first time I went here, I was like, this door has to do something. But no, it's not even part of the, the puzzle. It's just a beautifully done door. It's amazing. You know, I really appreciate games that really... I mean, look at these textures. This is remarkable to me. So, we got another spell here, so obviously, hit the E. Now, this isn't actually a spell, it's um, a mark of command. So, basically, if you see this uh, logo somewhere on the map, you say, follow my will, and it will do something for you. So, I spent about 40 minutes looking around here for this damn logo without me even noticing that, oh, maybe it's the logo on the thing. So, follow my will. And, oh my god, that is so cool. And we, we have a bridge to go over. Wonderful. But man, this game is just... I can't say it enough, this is beautiful. Good job to the developers, I can't wait to see where you go with this game. Um, definitely, such an amazing game. And we're going on to... I don't even remember where what, what we are at now. It's not a huge long demo, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, it's to showcase the game, and you could have showed me two minutes of this game and I would have been spent. Okay, so we are at the diamond room. This was by far the hardest room for me. Um, the, I, it's just like the other room, you have to get a beam of light to that door to open it. So, what you have to do is you just learn Follow My Will, and... These guys, I didn't even notice, I kept walking over it, they have the Follow My Will logo, so... I'll, sh I'll show you, basically, what happens at the start. You, uh, obviously, there's a st stairway leading up here, so it was telling me right away that I had to go up here and figure it out. So, let... no, not let there be light. Oh, oh my god, don't do anything. It... oh! Hello! Okay, so maybe it just let? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I got that, but that's cool. Um, beam of light. Okay, so... I, I figured, you know, you definitely start with the red diamond. It's the only diamond in the room that's really different. And then I was trying to figure out, you know, I was going everywhere trying to figure this out. But let's see if I remember it right now. Um, follow my will. Now it changes to over here. And you, I mean, just think of what you could make in terms of puzzles with this game. It's amazing. I mean, not only, I mean, even without the voice commands, this would have been an amazing game because the. the not many RPGs go for the puzzle aspect. Follow my will. And... There's one more. Okay, here he is. Follow my will. I think I need to move that guy to... I don't know, maybe I have to only move that guy once? I don't remember. Let there be light! Oh, shit. Wrong one. God damn it. Beam of light! Alright, just gotta aim this bad boy. Oh, maybe it's wrong. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. And, okay, it's this one you gotta move once more, I think. Follow my will. Or maybe I move... Wait. Did I not have to move that one? I don't remember. I did this like five minutes ago. You expect me to remember? Jesus. Let... Oh, fuck. Follow... Nope. <laughs> wow, I can't even... There's no more voice recognition for me. I just can't remember fucking what to say. A beam of light. Okay, Jesus Christ. Pull it together. Um, oh, 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 oh. Okay, so it is opening. So, that's good, I think. And as you can hear, you gotta run because the door's co uh, closing. Follow my will. Follow my will! Okay. Okay. So, that, that took about three tries the first time. I did actually really relatively good that time. And we come to this room where, oh, we got a checkpoint save. That's nice. I didn't even notice that before. 
we have uh, a closed door, and that immediately tells you, okay, you need to figure out how to move these things, and I don't really remember how. So, hopefully we can, uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll remember once I see it. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game is, it's got, it's got kind of an eerie feeling, but it's beautifully eerie. I love it. Um, this game actually was already greenlit, so I usually say, you know, oh, let there be light. I can't see. Usually I say, you know, go green light this game, do it right now, but hey, they, they did it so quickly that I don't even need to say that. It's going to be on Steam, guys, so if you buy, uh, if you donate the code, you're going to get a Steam game, which is always good. Okay, so I remember now, we got a code here. Mind over matter allows you to move objects, and then you can say, come to me and go away to push them even further. Now, this one blew me away, guys. This is... <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Mind over matter. Yes. You are moving a 10,000 pound pillar with your mind. <laughs> like, seriously, how can a little company make this? This is amazing to me. Mind over matter. Mind over matter, my friends. And drop. I wonder if I can drop it on me. Hold on. Mind over matter. Hello. Oh, ow. Ow, ow. Okay, that was fun. You can just play with those if you want. And another beautiful beam of light, even on medium. Uh, I cannot say enough about the graphics. Okay, so mind over matter. So we got these little bricks here. Obviously, you got to use them. This, this oh shit, I'm doing a spell right now. Okay, this room was definitely the hardest for me, but after you think about it for a while, you can usually get the hang of it. So I'll kind of go through my thought process during it. So obviously, I knew I needed to get up here. So, I saw these little guys over here and remembered Mind Over Matter. Mind Over Matter. And... Voila! Oh, come on. Drop. There we go. And... Bam! We have another, uh... Follow My Will. Thing. And... As you can see, that opened up this door over here. And... But this one over here closed. Oh, I can't... Sh okay, hold on. Follow My Will. So, this door opens up, this door closes, and obviously there's another pillar here, so, follow my will. Oh, come on. Follow my will. Is it follow my will? No, it's mind over matter. Oh my god. Mind over matter. Game smarter than me. So, I wanted to block the door. Is that good? I don't even know. No, that's not good. What the hell am I doing? Follow my... my, my fuck! <laughs> Mind over matter. There. Jesus Christ. Pull it together. I even know what I'm doing and I can't do it right. So then I did this. Follow my will. And... It obviously worked, but there's no duck or anything, so you can't get under there. So then, I looked around forever for another thing, but then I said, you know what? I have that push back thing, right? So, once I get up here, I can simply, um, if I remember, mind over matter. There we go. I can even yap, and it recognizes what I do, and then, um, come to me. So it comes closer, go away. Go away! Go away! Go away. Come to me. I mean, this game doesn't get old. It's so fun. Come to me. Okay. Oh. There we go. The, uh, 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 uh. Now, <laughs> watching this and me knowing what I do, it probably sounds pretty easy, but this took me about an hour the first playthrough. So, again, I could have made a video on that and edited it a lot, but I won the full playthrough. I, I don't like editing, first of all, and I don't like watching videos that are edited personally I don't know maybe it's just me but watching edited videos if you feel like you're missing a lot so I'm trying this I'm I prefer blind but with puzzle games it takes forever so mind over matter oh no no I never matter follow my will <laughs> follow my will Jesus Christ and then you sprint and hopefully I make it ah, ah. yes I did. And you keep walking, and BAM! Oh shit, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, 
Oh no! Let there be light! That didn't work. I was hoping it would work. <laughs> Inverbis Virtuous. Alright guys, that is the demo of the game. I'm sure you're as happy about it as me. I love the game. Um, Definitely, even if you watch this whole video and understand how to do everything, go try it. Get, get the feel of it. It's amazing. And you can see there's some art here for the game. What's to be expected? That's an awesome friggin' <laughs> monster. Holy shit. Look at this. I mean... The art in this game is beautiful. Um, links will be down below. I will put the website, the Indiegogo if you want to donate. Please, if you got the money to do it, definitely do it. I mean, this game's going to be amazing. And then I'll also put the green light on Steam. So, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Again, that is Inverbis Virtus, and I will see you guys in the next one.